Part 2 of Brainwave, and we're going to look at my good old bud's arch nemesis, Aquagon. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's open this bag now. Alright, so here are the first contents of Aquagon. Just like Evo, we only get one bag right here, and the exact same size instruction manual like Evo. But this is Aquagon, so Aquagon is in the picture, so yeah. And we also have the exact same body like Evo, the small size body with no connecting space between here and here. But the only difference is it's not in the back, which is kind of weird. And we also have this very cool dark blue brain. But unfortunately, mine is a little too curvy, which is, yeah, a little frustrating, but... This is a small problem, so it's no big deal. So, yeah. Alright, those are the first contents, and let's look at the parts. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Even though he only has 41 pieces. In fact, he is the second smallest villain. The smallest villain is Scarox, which I already tore him apart because I have to build wild side, so yeah. Anyways, we already seen the brain and the body, so let's take them away for a while. And let's take a look at the rest of the parts. Let's see what we got this time. We got two of these beautiful sword pieces in dark blue. And number four size gunmetal gray armor. Two black hands right here. And two of these yellow spikes, large, kind. Two of these small spikes in yellow as well. Three of these very special connecting parts, which we'll use them later. And two of the second longest bone parts in black, which are nothing special, but this is special. Two of these number three size dark blue armor. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Speaking of which, why do villains always get the good stuff? I'm actually saying the truth, so yeah, just <laughs> deal with it. And we also have this pile of stuff, which, um, just tiny stuff, so let's leave them there for now. Two black claws from the Ninjago Dragons or whatever. A gunmetal gray armor piece, I think this is the torso. And two of these bone pieces in light silver, light gray, whatever. And we have the second shortest bone pieces, but this time it's a very different sort of color in banana yellow, I guess, or other sorts of yellow, I guess. And two of these connecting pieces in black. Um, still nothing special. This is something new, I guess. Two of these um, seaweed pieces in black. I never seen them before. Wait, I did. I did see them before. It's from Ogrum. From uh, it's dark green, but this one is black, which looks even more cooler. A hero core, which is useless for this one. And we have his face. Wow, that's ugly. But it looks really cool. You can see he has gills and giant teeth and very vicious eyes. And it's painted in a very nice yellow. Looks really cool. Last but not least, we have the 2013 headpiece. But this time it's in dark blue. Oh my god. Why? Why we only get the neon green ones? And they always get the blue ones. Alright. That was that. So let's end it anyways. Alright, so those are the parts. And I'm gonna start building as usual. And Akagon is complete. Well, I'm gonna use that usual praise. Everything is not what it seems to be. It looks simple as it looks, but when you um, build it together, it looks awesome. My favorite part is the face. Even without the brain, Akagon looks fierce. 
but with the brain and the red eyes, Akakon looked even more fierce. It looks like he really is a water assassin. It looks like he's gonna kill someone or something really quick. Really gives that effect. And the swords make him look even more badass. And of course, it also has the connecting feature, just like they did in the show. Uh, hang on a sec. There we go. So this is what it looks like when the two swords are combined together. So you can have this very long water sword staff or whatever thing. So yeah. Also, the brain connection has upgraded. With this connecting part, it makes the brain stay there. It won't jump out unless you move it too hard. Really, really great upgrade. But of course, there's always a bad thing about the toy. Well, this time, my dislike is the back. The back is too spacey. It's not actually a big problem, but it just looks too spacey. It just looks boring on the back. Um, I hope they can fix that in the future, but yeah, it's kind of weird that you could see this giant gap right there. It looks kind of weird and frustrating, but still it is a great toy. Akogon is possibly one of the greatest villains I have ever got, and check this out. Akogon is way shorter than Evo. Look at that. <laughs> so freaking hilarious. So, yeah. It really worth your worth your uh, 9 to 12 bucks or whatever. So, that's the water packs. Evo and Akogon. They are very very good packs. They are small, but sometimes small packs can become the king and they possibly can so yeah so all the water packs reviews are over next up are the electric packs which is surge and dragon bolt i'm gonna review surge first so yeah if you like this review or dislike this review i don't really care unless you're someone evil who wants to hurt someone of course thank you for watching this is wing rocket also known as shining lion signing out